Hello, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the second half of March, March 16th through the 31st. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Eric. Welcome to Divine Conversations. If you are returning to the channel, it's great to speak with you again. And if you are new, welcome. It is very great to meet you. Okie dokie. So let's just get to it. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, sun, moon, and rising. Please bring forward the best messages for Geminis for the second half of their month, March 16th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. Just a bit of shop talk. If you are in, on Instant Go, you can ask me a quick question if you like. The link to my Instant Go profile is in the description box below. If you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that my email address, and some descriptions of some of the readings that I give that are available are in the description box below as well. So if you're feeling called to do that, I highly recommend and encourage that you heed the calling. Yeah? <laughs> All right, Gemini, what's going on for you? Second half of March, 16th through to the 31st. Gemini. Gemini. The twins. Gemini. All right, one more shuffle for you, Gemini, and then we'll cut the deck and get to your reading. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. All right. What have we got for you, Gemini? The two of cups. Well, that's lovely. I'm hearing reconciliation here. I do remember that you guys had a bit of a tryst. You had a bit of a fight uh, that we were talking about for the beginning of March. Um, it was connected a little bit, at least in my personal story, it was connected with what Aquarius was going through. Um, and it's interesting. It's very interesting because I just did the Aquarius video and they're being called, someone within that situation is being called to make amends. And here, in your overall energy, you have the Two of Cups, which is the, the Making Amends card. It's also a card of relationships, of love connections. Um, and I am picking up on that a little bit. I am picking up on that a little, bit, a little bit. There could be, for some of you Geminis, there could be a love situation, a love partnership coming through for you. You might be meeting someone that you become interested in, and you're thinking, maybe I want to pursue this. You very well could be meeting someone. Uh, next, in your overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. We also have the Page of Swords in reverse. And we have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, these are your overall energies. So um, now this message, yes, there is a bit of a love connection here. But what we're talking about right now is this making amends situation. Okay. Um, <laughs> Yeah. And this is, it's so funny. You, Gemini and Aquarius are really, I feel you're really intertwined. Um, some of you may have sun, moon, and rising signs in either Gemini or Aquarius. Um, or you have them, either of those signs uh, prominent in your chart, or you're dealing with a Gemini or Aquarius. But there is resistance here. There is resistance to moving forward with the chariot. Moving forward, I just heard moving forward towards something that you know you should be doing, okay? Um, with the eight of pentacles in reverse, I'm seeing someone that's refusing to try something new, to learn something new, to humble themselves and say, okay, maybe, maybe there is some room for improvement here for me. Maybe I can change, maybe I can adjust some of these some of these things about me. Now, no one is asking you to be anything than who you authentically are, but we all have things that we can work on, that we can develop, that we can grow with, we can build through, grow through and build with. And with the page of swords in reverse, this is like super childish. <laughs> I'm so, I mean, from a mental point of view, this is like absolute refusal to, to grow up in some way. I'm, this is just, I, I'm seeing a, just a, a, a brat, a spoiled brat throwing a temper tantrum, refusing to learn anything new, refusing to develop, 
refusing to move forward in the way with the chariot in reverse, your soul, spirit, whatever, however you see it, is asking you to move forward here, is asking you to grow up and move forward, to make amends in some way. But you're refusing. Either you're refusing or the person that you're dealing with is refusing. There's some sort of resistance here towards, towards this reconciliation here. Okay, moving forward with your story, we have the Eight of Swords. Yep, that makes sense with the Six of Wands. All right, so look, y'all want to move forward. Y'all want to, y'all want to be victorious in this. Okay, but you're in your head. You feel stuck. Some of you, this wow. All right, you guys are really already. You're mirroring the Aquarius video quite strongly because there was a caution of. Extreme pride and egotism egotism is getting in the way. Now, for you guys, this could be the same thing uh, in two different ways. One, either you're the one that's being egotistical and prideful and refuse to, refuses to cut yourself out of this, this mental space that you're in, and you kind of feel trapped there because you feel like people are, are telling you to be who someone who, who you're not. But that's where your ego and pride are coming in. It's like you won't, you refuse to humble yourself. You refuse to look at how you are just making the situation worse by refusing to be humble. Some of you are also afraid of this extreme pride. Uh, um, you're, you're up in your heads and stuck because you want to make amends, but you're afraid that their pride will get in the way with the Six of Wands. Um, I mean, normally this and the six of wands is not upright. I'm sorry, is not reversed. But I am picking up. What I'm hearing is that you know ego and pride are getting in the way here, trying to save face. Is what I'm picking up on. Moving forward in your story, we have look at that the seven of swords, with the queen of pentacles. Someone feels cheated here. And look, the Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. This is hard to do. It's hard to get the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, okay? She's very she's very logical. She's very stable. She's very, very pragmatic, okay? Um, I am a Taurus, all right? So I'm an earth sign. This is This could very well be speaking to an earth sign. And if you are dealing with an earth sign here, um, and what I was going to say with as being a Taurus, I'm very trusting, I'm very compassionate, I'm very loving, I'm very forgiving. But if you if you finally push me to a point where I'm reversed, <laughs> good luck. Good luck. Because you, if you thought it was hard to get me to lose trust in you, to lose faith in you, to finally, finally decide to say I am done with this situation and I'm moving on, it's going to be even harder for you to get me to turn back around. And that's what this, these two cards are saying here. So if you're dealing with an earth sign, that's exactly what's going on here. You don't have to be dealing with an earth sign, though. You could be dealing with somebody that is that embodies this queen of pentacles nature or this queen of pentacles energy. And please don't get caught up in gender. It could be a man. It could be a woman. This is just energy, not, um, not gender. But either way, they feel like they've been cheated, but they feel like they've been cheated here with the Seven of Swords. They feel like they've been cheated way too much, way too much. And they don't necessarily feel like whoever feels cheated here, whether it's you, Gemini, or this other person, they don't necessarily feel like they can trust you enough to say, okay, let's start over. They may want to trust you. Like, please understand, they may want to trust you. But it's going to take a lot of work to rebuild that trust. A lot of it. All right. Moving forward, we have, okay, the Knight of Pentacles. With the King, oh my goodness, with the King of Cups. The mirroring between you and Aquarius, guys, is really, really strong. Because they, the Aquarius got the King of Cups in their under overall energy here. All right. So I encourage you. Even if Aquarius is not part of your sign or not prominent in your chart or whatever, not, you, don't, you don't have a sun, moon, or rising in it, you may benefit from watching the Aquarius video. You might. There may be some messages there for you. What I'm seeing here in this cup, in these two cards, this is very good. 
because you, Gemini, are showing up as the king, the knight, I'm sorry, the knight of pentacles here. Um, you might have earth in your sign, in your chart somewhere, but what I'm seeing here is you're showing up as the knight of pentacles because the king of cups is influencing you to take a higher ground here, to emotionally um, evolve, to take a much more mature emotional position in this situation, to let go of the pride and the ego and to accept your responsibilities in this situation. And because of that, you are showing up as the Knight of Pentacles in that you are committed in some way to making amends. Some of you are. Okay, please keep in mind, guys, this is a general reading. I'm reading for a lot of people. So if that doesn't resonate with you, then that doesn't re resonate with you. Leave it, leave it be. Okay, but it, and if it's you, Gemini, or if you're Gemini, if you're the one that has been doing the wrong here, um, or if it's the other person, whoever has been acting in the ways that this person, this other person is the queen of pentacles in reverse, whoever, whoever um, was on the, the side of doing someone else wrong, they are now coming to terms. In some cases, some of them are now coming to terms with it and are saying, okay, what can I do to fix this? What can I do to fix this? The Knight, the Knight of Pentacles is um, is a planner. He he makes he's the one that makes the blueprint, but he's very slow about it sometimes. So this may not this may not be easy, and this may take a while. Okay, but just know that the Knight of Pentacles does move, and he gets to his destination that he has set for himself, and he does it in a way that he leaves no stone unturned, so that he does not have to redo anything again in the path in the future. He wants to do it, do it once, do it right, and keep moving. And that is a very good energy to adopt in this situation, Gemini or whoever else we're talking about, because that if you if you really entertain the Knight of Pentacles energy, you will really be learning your lesson so that you don't have to deal with this ever again. That's excellent. Now, if you are resisting, this is your guidance. Do this. Adopt the Knight of Pentacles energy. See the situation for what it really is. Take responsibility for your actions. And I'm going to say the same thing I said to Aquarius. If you don't do this now, you are just kicking the can further down the road and you're going to have to deal with it later. All right, so it's your choice. What do you want to do? Do you want to deal with this now, once and for all, get it over with? Or do you just want to push it away and be faced with it again? Either with the same person, I doubt that, most likely with someone else. It's up to you. Moving forward in your story, we have Four of Swords. That's good to see here, especially in, in light of what we were just talking about with the Knight of Pentacles. The Four of Swords is taking a rest, um, analyzing, trying to understand what's going on before you step back into the battle. And we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. Good, very good. So this moment where you're taking whoever, someone, whoever did the wrong here, they're, they either should be or, or are or are going to be taking a break, all right? Taking a rest, respite is what I'm hearing, and analyzing the situation, figuring out how to um, stop this energy of five of pentacles, of leaving someone else out in the cold. Because in essence, that's kind of what this situation was. This other person, whoever feels like they were wronged here, uh, feels like they've just been left out in the cold by you somehow, like you've just either neglected them or berated them or um, took advantage of them, took them for granted, tried to make them into something that they're not, um, you know, so whatever your actions were, were towards them, uh, they felt in a sense left out in the cold. And so whoever did these wrongs is going to be taking a moment to look, to, to rest and analyze the situation and adopting the Knight of Pentacles energy, trying to figure out how to move forward. Because they don't want this anymore. They don't want to feel like this. They don't want to make anyone else feel like this. It's not fair. So that's good. That's a glimmer of hope here. Next in your story, we have Temperance. Wow, Aquarius got this card too, again, in their overall energy, but holy moly, guys. And I did a real good shuffle here, you know? Um, the magician, I'm sorry, the hanging man, but in reverse. 
Okay, what I'm picking up here in most cases, uh, you're coming out of the hanging man state. The hanging man is about looking within, is about um, uh, looking within and gaining a new perspective, okay? Looking within, yes, but mostly gaining a new perspective on a situation, all right? And because the hanging man is reversed, there are two things I'm seeing here. One could be this resistance that we were talking about in refusing to see a different side to the situation, refusing to gain a different um, perspective on the situation, which for the most part includes you taking responsibility or whoever that needs to, to, to you know, really work on making amends, whoever this person is, they're refusing to see their role in the situation. They're refusing to see how they did anything wrong here. Okay, so that could be why the hanging man is in reverse. It could also be in reverse because some of you are like adopting this Knight of Pentacles energy through the influence of this emotional maturity represented by the King of Cups and are starting to come out of this hanging man because you're now seeing things differently. I just heard seeing things for what they, how they really are, seeing the situation for what it really is, how you really got there. You know, it is a two-way street, don't get me wrong. Even if the person that feels like they were wronged um, does, you know, even if they were right, they still had something to do with the situation, okay? No one gets there by themselves. But I feel like this is heavily on the shoulders of the person that did the wronging, okay? Coupled with temperance here, balance is coming into play. So what is influencing the, uh, the movement out of this uh, hanging man energy is temperance, is balance, Okay. Um, you're asking to, you're being asked to have a bit of patience here, especially with the Knight of Pentacles energy around. Okay, um, you're coming out of this this hanging man situation with a brand new perspective, but you still have to try and understand what to do with that perspective. Okay, so you still have, you still, you know, there's still a little bit more perspective to be to be gained, but have patience with yourself because things are moving forward for you if you are resonating with this side of the message. Okay. Um, yes. Finally, in your story, we have the Six of Swords. Yeah, movement. Moving towards calmer waters. And the Hierophant. Again, some of you are dealing with a Taurus, specifically, with the Hierophant here. Um, what else? I'm trying to see. Cause that's, that's what I'm picking up here. I don't really know what signs the um, Temperance and the Hanging Man are, are represented by, or what they represent. But I am picking up that some of you are dealing with a Taurus here. And hey, I'm a Taurus, <laughs> and I have been having a bit of struggle with a Gemini. Um, but here, calmer waters are being moved to from the influence of spirit. Listening to, listening to the spiritual advisor within you, okay? Because the Hierophant speaks of... Um, couldn't talk about a spiritual advisor, a, a, a spiritual teacher, someone that you value. Either it's within you or there's someone outside of your life that is helping guide you on this movement towards calmer waters, towards reconciliation, towards, um, yeah, reconciliation. And that's good. I would encourage you to continue to listen to this person and value their opinion because they are helping you move forward. Um, if you are in a place of resistance, you are being asked by the universe to seek counsel by someone that you, whose opinion you truly value. You, ah, I'm picking up on another message here from the Four of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. Um, you are taking a rest, but you might be refusing to ask for help from other people, from others. So, um, yeah, if you're in this moment of kind of a stalemate, kind of like a timeout, and you're struggling with what to do, seeking the counsel of someone whose opinion that you highly uh, um, value can help you move forward with the Six of Swords, like the Six of Swords is recommending that is coming through. Yeah, so there are the messages for you, Gemini. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was helpful. And much love to you all. I wish you all the best. And I will see you for the first half of April. Yeah. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.